So through the study that was done by uh, Jeff Verdon's lab, uh, I think that is named Verdon, Verdon's uh, group, and uh, it was a very interesting study because uh, I think it was published in 2003 in the journal Science, which has a very high impact factor, and uh, it was a very elegant study showing that the ketone molecule beta-hydroxybutyrate is more than just an energy metabolite. And it would make sense that the metabolites in our body would have signaling properties independent of their, their simple role of supplying energy, that they would signal to our body uh, to uh, impact gene expression. So it's now widely accepted after that publication and, and some publications previous to that uh, in, in other model systems that these metabolites can uh, more or less activate a genetic program that in the case of beta-hydroxybutyrate it activates a genetic program that can increase our resistance to stress, to, uh, to oxidative stress. And it activates uh, a number of genes associated even with longevity. So that, that's really exciting that um, you have uh, the ability to consume uh, a metabolite that could otherwise only be elevated through very rigorous fasting or a very strict ketogenic diet, we have the ability to elevate uh, a metabolite that can impact our own DNA in a way to turn off or turn on different genes. And that's rapidly becoming of interest to even the pharmaceutical companies. Um, having spoken at a number of pharmaceutical companies over the years, they are trying to mimic <laughs> the uh, HDAC inhibitor uh, properties of beta-hydroxybutyrate ketones uh, with various drugs. And to my knowledge, they have not really come up with any drug <laughs> that can mimic the uh, effect of, of beta-hydroxybutyrate in, in the way that it does. So, and it makes sense that if we're in a state of fasting, uh, or with limited food availability that this metabolite, when it's elevated, uh, we would want to protect ourselves uh, against various environmental stressors. So to ensure our survival and be, uh, to ensure that we could uh, be able to acquire the food that we need to survive. So, um, so I think that has become a very interesting area of research for us and for other labs to look at the gene expression changes associated with an elevation of blood ketones.